Hey everyone, this is a Patreon behind the scenes video, but we're gonna be releasing it to the main channel, I don't know, a week or two later. So what we're looking at today, for those of you who have early access, is a completed version of the system that I built for Andrew, our main video guy, does most of the editing and film work. So uh, Andrew also does all kinds of Blender, 3D animation stuff, uh, working in Unreal Engine, which are all things that require a pretty decently powerful computer. We have another video where I built the system. This is basically the completed system after we finished the airflow arrangement and all of that stuff, added a second video card of an older generation because Blender doesn't care about SLI. It cares about individual work units present, each one being a video card, and they can work independently of each other pretty well. So this is the finalized build. We just finished putting it together. I want to point out what we ended up doing for everything. So for, uh, for explaining how this type of rig works, Andrew's on a, a pretty bad laptop right now. That's going to change that. I think it's 650M and an old i7. And what we have here is an R7-1700. I really want to overclock this to 4 gigahertz, but we can't because the motherboard, which is a Gaming 5 X370 board, has a severe issue where it seems to be pushing the voltage to 1.55 no matter what, uh, which is insane and will kill the CPU. So for now, we're not overclocked until I can figure out why that's happening. I've notified Gigabyte. And then other than that, we're not really using the CPU to render anyway. We're using GPUs because they're just better at this particular type of rendering, and although it's nice to have the backup if we need it. So we have a 1070 Ti going for the primary and then another GPU here. This is just a 960 that I had and don't need anymore. Uh, it's a two gigabyte 960. So adding this card reduced our render time in the test by about 22%, which is pretty damn good, especially for an older architecture. So 22% faster. Uh, we are on a scale of, of minutes versus dozens of minutes for the old laptop. So it's a huge improvement. In terms of the airflow, we thought this through pretty, uh, pretty well. So basically this is an inverted case. Power supply is up here. The power supply is helping pull air out from the video cards after they get heated. They're technically in conflict for air. However, uh, the, the power supply is really just pulling out the warmed air, exhausting it. So that's good. And it's not under a ton of load anyway, so it doesn't really need to worry about getting too hot. We have a fan down here, just an extra one I had, 120, that's pushing air over the VRMs and into the back plate of the GPU, which is helping out the rear fan for exhaust, and then another front fan here. So this fan's entire life is to push air up in front of the 140 millimeter fan at the front over here so that that fan can have extra access to air and push it through the video cards, uh, even in spite of the dead zone from the hub. So the cooling is actually working out really well in this case. This card, when both are running rendering like they are right now with the door closed, this card gets something like 62 degrees under auto fan settings. And we're not controlling for it because it's not really relevant. And then this one's like 52. So temperatures are actually very good in here. Uh, for memory, we have two 16 gigabyte sticks, 32 gigabytes total, 3200 megahertz of memory, Corsair LPX stuff. And that's like a gold mine right now, as is this video card, sadly. but. Uh, that's the, the nature of the industry. So uh, that's most of the build. We did swap out the power supply for a thermal take one, and uh, and we ended up going with this air cooler for the cooler. But I think that that pretty much wraps the build. So overall, very happy with how it came out. It should be a beast for rendering, especially relative to what he had going on. Uh, there are things we could improve in the future, but for Blender primarily, those are all going to be adding more GPUs of higher power class. So given the state of the market right now, we're not going to do that because I need my cards for testing. But uh, that's a good start. So for the future, maybe that's something to look into if cards ever come down in price. But for now, either way, adding a 960 was 22% faster than just the 1070 Ti. So that's something that is surprisingly helpful for an older car that's not worth a whole lot anymore, except for the mining thing going on. That's it though. The case is a 600C. If you're curious, it's a couple of years old. We reviewed it ages ago and liked it a lot actually. Uh, and yeah, if you do not have early access to this video, if you're watching it on the main Gamers Nexus channel, then you can get early access next time by going to patreon.com slash gamers nexus. The $5 and up tier gets access to the behind the scenes vlogs. Not all of them go public. Only a couple of them do. Some remain private to only Patreon backers. Some of them go public on a side channel where 
you won't be notified about it unless you're subscribed there. So, but everyone on Patreon gets it for five and up, basically. So that's the deal. Anyway, subscribe for more as always. And patreon.com slash gamersnexus helps out directly. I'll see you all next time.